because it's starting to get a little cold outside, which makes me remember that time that I was in Egypt. Oh, it was warm and it was sunny and I got to ride on the back of a camel. So much fun. Did you know I just learned that camels, you know that hump they have that you sit on? That does not store water. That's what I was taught. It stores fat. Camels can go so long without drinking, they store water in their bloodstream, but they store fat in their humps so they don't have to eat. I didn't know that. I still have a lot to learn about camels. And it turns out about primary songs. This week's song, I have never heard it before in my life, but it has been published in the primary songbook since the 1980s, so I have no excuse. I should really know about this. It's called, This Is My Beloved Son. And for those of you who have, like me, never heard this song before, if you're a new singer, I just want you to focus on these two words. Hear him. This is what it sounds like in the actual song. That's pretty, isn't it? For my advanced singers, you can tack on a little bit to the hear him. You can tack on, this is my beloved son hear him. Let's put that together and hear what that sounds like. This is my beloved son. Hear him. So lovely. So every time we sing a verse of the song, we sing that this is my beloved son, hear him part at the end. And the first verse of this song is about when Jesus Christ got baptized and God told everybody, look, this is my beloved son, hear him. And so if you are a good reader, you can sing this verse along with the words, or maybe you've heard this before, but for sure chime in for that very end part we all know, this is my beloved son, hear him. This second verse is specifically chosen to go along with our home study about when Jesus came to visit the, the Nephites and the Lamanites in the Book of Mormon. And we have the, a new verse about this visit and then of course the part that we know so well. Let's give this verse a try. Nephites gazing into much singing, but it's a new song. The third verse is about when Joseph Smith has that miraculous experience where he sees God and Jesus Christ in real life. And so let's sing a little song about when that happened. Joseph saw two glorious beings shining brighter than the sun. God again presented Jesus. verse of the song is about you and me. When we read our scriptures, we actually can hear the words of Jesus in our hearts and in our mind. And so this is particular verse of the song ties it all together and applies it to us. Let's go ahead and sing the very last verse of this song. As I read the scriptures daily, singing. I can't wait until I can see you all again. But until then, I will watch for you online. 
Bye everyone, see you next week.